Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we'll be talking about middleware and Laravel. So in my previous video, I talked about uh, routing. Uh, so if you haven't watched that video, then you can go ahead and uh, watch that video first from my channel, okay? So basically, what is middleware? Middleware is a convenient mechanism for filtering HTTP requests entering your applications. So by using middlewares, what we can do is we can filter whatever is coming into our website we can filter all the requests okay so and uh, there are a lot of middlewares by default in laravel which is situated in app http and middleware folder so let's look into that first so this is our oh, i'll be st I starting from where we ended up yesterday but i have removed these uh, other routes like admin routes so if we go to app HTTP and middlewares so we can see all the all the middlewares in here so and if we go into this kernel.php we can see all the list of middlewares that are defined uh, that will be used by our application when Laravel boots up so whenever uh, so let me go to the I, I have drawn this in the background so whenever we visit the home page like this then it will go to the um, routes and web.php and by default any uh, routes that are that are defined in this uh, web.php will have web middleware with it so and if you go to the kernel then we go to this middleware groups then we have a web middleware over here so all these middlewares will be applied when we run when we visit the home page or any other uh, pages but before that these middlewares will be applied so ladder will will uh, do uh, all this filtering from itself and then uh, after that it will perform all these filters uh, and then our home page will be visited okay for example uh, it will uh, handle the course also it will trim the strings uh, uh, when we are submitting a form there might be spaces in the beginning or end it will trim all those spaces and also if there is any empty string it will convert it to, into null similarly all this it will encrypt the cookies and start the session authentication everything will be done here okay and after that uh, and after that it will go to the controller index method as one here and then it will show us the view so we can make our own middleware so we can see here we can make our own middleware by using this command php artisan uh, make middleware change is so let's create this same one okay if i uh, go to the terminal and uh, type the command php partition make middleware check is and hit enter it will create a middleware as you can see here it has created a check is middleware over here inside the app http and middlewares and we can go ahead and see it over here okay so now what we are going uh, to do here is if uh, anybody has a age of uh, uh, let's say uh, less than 14 14 years old then they will only be able to visit the home page and they will not be able to visit the about us page if they are greater uh, greater than 14 years old then only they will be able to visit the about us page for for now if i click on the home page they are in the home page and if i click on the about us page they can visit the about us page so let me go to home page first and in this middleware let's check is equals to let's say 12 so this value will be coming from either uh, from the database or uh, from the authenticated user is okay so for now uh, let us keep it in a variable will be in the future lessons we'll be um, learning about the database as well as authentication everything so for now uh, let's just keep it as a value a static value now here we what we can do is if dollar is is less than or equal to 14 then we, we will not let them pass through this request okay we'll return 
will redirect them to the about us page so this is the name route that we have learned in our previous video so please uh, watch that video first if you don't understand this okay what we are doing here is if the age is less than or equal to 14 if the user has the age less than or equal to 14 then they will be redirect to the about sorry to the home page to the home route and if their age is greater than for sorry greater than 14 then they can be passed through this request okay okay so now if we go uh, so this is the that we have defined a middleware but we have to register it first okay so to register this uh, check as middleware we have to go to this kernel.php and you can see here uh, the route middleware uh, we have to register it over here so for that let us uh, write um, a name and let us copy this scan and paste it over here and what is the name of our middleware sorry not this one let me app http middleware here yeah, this one since our generate middleware is in app http and middleware so i am copying this and here we'll write check is so what it will do is it will register this middleware with the name check is now we can use this check is middleware in our route in our web.php file so now here we can use it like this so let me make it in a different line middleware and give the name just we can append a method middleware and give a name check edge so whenever we visit about a space it will go through the middleware first it will go through the middleware and then only it will visit the about us controller so when it about a space is visited, it is go to the check edge and if we go ahead and check the edge over here the age is 12 the currently let's say the currently logged in user has an age of 12 so they will not be able to visit the about us page this return next uh, request will just pass them to the next request okay so since the user has the age of less than 14 they will be redirect to the home page it means they will not be able to visit the about us page so let us go now if i click on about us page it should redirect me back to the home page now so as you can see we cannot visit the about us page now let's say a user with the age of 16 visits the website and if they click on the about us page now they can visit the about us page as you can see here if they can visit home page as well as the about us page so with the help of uh, middleware we can filter uh, which user can visit which routes and they can do something or not that all things can be controlled with by the use of middleware okay after that what we can do is also there is a there is another way of uh, uh, defining a middleware sorry using a middleware so we can directly use here is directly use the check is middleware class name so we have the name of the middleware as a check is and we can use it here so as you can see this is imported over here so don't forget to import it now if we do this then the same this it should be the same thing now we we can visit the home page and we can also visit the about about us page since the user has an age of 16 now if we again change it to the let's say 11 and if we try to visit the home page we can now if we go to the about us page they cannot because it will redirect us to the home page again so i hope that it is that it is clear then yeah let's talk about the parameters in the middleware we can also pass parameters to the middleware but for now we cannot do it in the class basis we have to give it the name that we have defined take it okay now we can pass a parameter in this middleware after by giving a colon and then the parameter name let's say 
give it 14. So let us create another middleware for this so that it will be easier to understand. Uh, so now let's say PHP partition above is. So what it will do is it will only allow the uh, users that have uh, the is greater than the given in the parameter. Okay. So let's say above is. And we can see here in app http and middleware above is middleware is created so here what we can do is we can accept one parameter like so is and let's say the is is equals to let's say 12 for now so if logged in logged in user is is greater than greater than a given is in the parameter they can only visit they can only pass the request otherwise what we will do redirect to the home route okay so this is the case now how to use this let let us register this in the kernel.php here okay above is let me duplicate this Above is and above is. So now it is registered. Now we can use this in our app dot sorry web dot php file. Now we go here and let us above is okay. So we can pass. So we have we have accepted is parameter over here, which can be passed from here by giving a colon and the is okay. So the only the users with the is above above greater than let's say 16 can go through this url okay but our logged in user only has an age of 12 so she cannot visit this space okay now if we go to the about us then look here they cannot visit the page now if we do that the with the is uh, the user with the is uh, greater than or greater than 10 can visit the page then as you can see here our logged in user has a age of 12 so they will be able to visit the about us page now if you go to the about us page now they can visit the about us page so i have it uh, clear for you all guys uh, uh, this much for today uh, we'll be looking into other features of laravel in the other videos so thank you for watching have a nice day thank you bye